since I first arrived at the frontier. Things have been moving faster than ever. It's hard to keep up with it at times. And sometimes, I'm not always sure if what we are doing here is even right. I mean, we originally came here to escape President Kimball's tyranny, but now it seems we are only repeating everything I thought we were trying to escape from. We are starting conflicts with the locals, pushing them out of their land and stealing their resources. Now we're in a war with the Legion all the way up here, and now the Enclave. It just never stops. I thought by following Blackthorn to the frontier, things would be different. But now, I fear I was wrong. That's what I fear. The point I'm trying to make is that every time we get ourselves involved in messes like this, good people die. Needlessly. I'm sure you don't want to listen to another one of my sob stories. This was quite some time ago, at the very beginning of the NCR Brotherhood Wars. I was stationed at an NCR camp in San Jose. Back then, the NCR was barely a sizable match for the Brotherhood's superior technology. When they came marching into the city, the NCR quickly retreated, leaving many of their soldiers behind. I found myself stranded in the city with a small pocket of soldiers, after it had been overrun by the Brotherhood. surviving, but how much longer are we going to be waiting here? Shouldn't we be out there doing something? We're still waiting on the brass to send in reinforcements. And once the reinforcements arrive, we'll finally drive out the Brotherhood and take back the city? Sure, but for now, just keep low. We don't want to give ourselves away to the enemy. I'll be ready when they arrive. I'll finally get the chance to take out one of these Brotherhood bastards. Situation. The situation is that the whole goddamn city has been overrun by the Brotherhood. And we're still stranded here with our thumbs up our asses. Just take a look for yourself, soldier. Reinforcements. They're still on their way, aren't they? Yeah. Bad news. I just got off radio and brass. They're not sending any reinforcements. What do you mean they're not sending any reinforcements? Lance, you shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. I want to know what's going on. The NCR wouldn't just leave their own soldiers behind like this. That's where you're wrong, kid. You're not a soldier to them. You're just cannon fodder. The brass doesn't give a damn about your life. If you want to make it out of here alive, you'll have to fight your way out. We won't get very far on foot if the Brotherhood spots us. Plus, we have wounded who can't even walk. Not everyone can make it out, kid. Some will have to be left behind. Only those who can run will have any chance. What about those trucks that are just sitting over there? Couldn't we use those to load everyone up and drive out? Well, that could be an option. If not for the Brotherhood's vertebrates patrolling the skies, they'll likely blow us off the road the moment they spot us. Unless someone is willing to go out there, shoot them down first. I have a tank buster that can take down a vertebrate. 
One tank buster isn't going to be enough to down all the vertebrates. There are four currently searching the city. Last time I counted. They need to search the area for more weapons. I'm sure the NCR left plenty of their armaments behind while they were frantically retreating from the city like a bunch of cowards. It's just a matter of getting to them before the Brotherhood does. If you think you can pull it off, Gray, I'll be waiting for the trucks. As soon as I hear the sound of each vertebrate crashing into the ground, I drive out. I'll come with you. No, you need to stay here and help load the wounded onto the trucks. But you're attempting to go out there and shoot down four vertebrates by yourself. I can help. You don't need to do this alone. I'm better off alone. It's less likely I'll get spotted. And if I do get into trouble, it may cause a big enough distraction to allow you to flee safely. But I'm tired of fleeing. I want to fight these guys. I want to prove I can handle this. Just give me a chance. Look, Lance, this isn't what you want. War isn't something anyone should ever want to experience, especially at a young age. I'm old enough. I can handle this. You're only 17. When you get older, you'll realize there is more to life than just war and proving yourself. I want you to live long enough to see that. So stay here with the trucks and don't do anything stupid, okay?
fine work taking out those vertebrates. I guess the Brotherhood is no match. Hop on board so we can hightail it out of this hellhole. What is all that? Oh, this. It's mostly Brotherhood equipment we managed to recover. We're talking power armor, energy weapons, you name it. This might be what finally gives us an edge against these Brotherhood bastards. Where are the wounded? Why aren't they on the trucks? There wasn't enough room for them, and they would have only slowed us down. It's more of a priority that we extract this equipment first. Since when is technology greater than human life? This is war we're fighting, soldier. Those wounded are no longer of any use to the war effort. If we want to win this war, this, this is what we have to do. Now, if you're done wasting time, get your ass on this truck so we can get the hell out of here. You're at least still useful to me. Driver, let's go now. Don't let that son of a bitch get away. He died there, in the street. He didn't even understand why. He believed in the NCR, followed them without question and believed that they were his brothers. Then, they left him, dying in the streets, along with countless others. I reported Captain Royas, but instead the bastard was promoted to Colonel. The funny thing was, we never ended up figuring out how to use the power armor, or any of the stolen weapons. All those soldiers left for dead, for nothing in return. But the NCR would still rather value technology over the lives of their own men. After a few days of hell, we made it back to our forward operating base. And you know what was happening when I got there. They were celebrating. Royez was hailed as a hero for being able to recover the power armor. He was no hero. He abandoned us. Later that night, I put my gun to my head. I just wasn't able to take it any longer. If it wasn't for Blackthorn, I... I wouldn't be here right now, but now I look back and think, maybe I should have pulled that trigger after all. Nothing since then has changed. I only continue to live through it all over and over again. When does it ever change? A saying I hear all too often. All this talk about my past has me drained. I'll talk to you again later. Like it is, Courier. Miguel, Private Miguel, proud member of Blackthorn's army. Not Kimball's, sir. I think he's the best chance at winning this thing. Sure, he's made his fair share of mistakes. But that just makes him human, like the rest of us. He'll pull through. He has to. I'm afraid I can't leave my post. Sorry. I can give you directions though. This here is the record. 
perfect place to be if you're looking for a good time. Used to be pretty popular, but, well, it's been a while since we had anything worth celebrating. That huge building over yonder is the terminal. You find all the big names in there, namely Blackthorn. We've got a clinic if you hurt yourself, but Siren is probably your best bet. Finally, there's the kitchen. Chef's a bit of a stick in the mud, but the food's better than you'd expect. Well, I mean, we got a prison near the edge of the camp, but I don't know why you want to go there. Grew up in Reading. Worked on the farm with my folks till I enlisted. A long time ago, my grandpappy ran into the Brotherhood of Steel. He was kind to them, remembered how they saved the wasteland from an army of mutants. That Brotherhood was long gone though. These guys were the meanest sons of bitches he ever met. They beat him to a pulp, shut up his cattle, and ran off with all the tech he used for farming. He barely got through that season alive, let alone this dignity intact. When I heard that the NCR was going to war with the Brotherhood, well, I figured it was about time Grandpa got some payback. See ya. Respectful speech, courier. Hiya. <sighs> Not many. Even less when it comes to the good stuff. We're mostly trying to get by with whatever's available. Take care. Hiya. Take care. Yes, what is it? This is all I can spare. You need something? Otherwise, I have people to get to. You mean Portland? Hasn't changed much. Still just as bad as ever. And I guess you can say that. I was born here, 
back when Sandlot was still a thing. I went over to California to fight the Brotherhood's war, but the NCR conscripted me before I got the chance. Eventually, I realized I belonged with the NCR. When Blackthorn turned traitor, I told him how to find his place. Uh, yeah, of course. I was just hoping they'd give me a chance to see the NCR capital first. My problem is that I have people I need to get to, and you're wasting my time. I'm Major Johan Reynolds. I'll make sure your equipment's working. If it breaks, you bring it to me. Otherwise, you're wasting my time. Yeah, Way handles robotics and vehicles. My expertise is weapon and armor. I can even fix a power armor if you need me to. Next! I'm Quartermaster Gallius, and your sorry ass better not be needing any more ammo. This is what I got. you. I'm Tuner, in case you didn't know. Could we make this quick? I have work to do. One of the grunts got drunk and puked all over this terminal. Hasn't been working since. Is it that putrid? I suppose I've gotten used to the smell. Well, there's NCR radio, but that mostly just feeds you propaganda. The only other radio station of note is the Breach Outreach. We technically aren't supposed to listen to them, but it's not like anyone could stop us. I know that they're much the same as their southern brothers. Cruel, brutal, and yet effective. Sometimes I wonder if this war is even worth it. What if we just let the Legion have the frontier? We're trying to make peace with them. No, not really. It's something I like to think about, though. 
We were once a part of the New California Republic, until they betrayed us. Blackthorn led us to Camp New Phoenix and promised that one day we would return to California and right Kimball's wrongs. As my name implies, I'm a communications officer. I also work with Johan and Wei to help repair the airport's technology. Most people you talk to will write him off due to his attitude. While it's true he can be abrasive, his frankly impressive intellect more than makes up for it. We wouldn't have half the equipment we do now if it wasn't for him. Johan Reynolds is a dedicated soldier and a fine mechanic. <laughs> Not as good as me, obviously, but he's at least better at repairing weapons. Some here find his opinions controversial, but... I find myself agreeing with him more often than not. I've had some trouble sleeping lately. I think it's starting to affect my mood. I'm good to work though. The doctor has made that clear. It's private. Bye. What? You did? Let me take a look at this. This... this is obviously a fake. There's no way you could have fixed this without me. Could you go? I have to clean up your mess. Respectful speech, Greer. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, are you the courier? Oh, man. I heard you were here, but I didn't believe it. Guess I owe Johan 30 caps. <laughs> uh, c c could I get your autograph? Uh, I know this is pathetic, b but uh, I don't... Uh... Some people know that their deaths weren't your fault. Uh, some people don't blame you. Sorry, I'm just really excited to m meet you. I I'm ki kind of embarrassed and uh, shy. J just meet me by in the main building, okay? Time's about right. Free. Can't see anyone. No one can see me. Sorry about the deception, Kuri, but I needed to get you alone. Make sure that they weren't watching us. I'm still not 100% sure, but we should be safe here. We can talk. Network, scavs, subversives. Anyone who wants to destroy the NCR. This is about the fate of the NCR, about you, what happened to you. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but this is the only thing that makes sense. The Legion shouldn't have known about our attack on Brighttown, but they did. The Legion shouldn't have been able to take out Post Gresham, but they did. And they shouldn't have known that you'd be on that bridge, but they did. Someone is feeding them information. Worse, that someone is trying to corrupt the values that made the NCR great. 
I've tried to stop them, preserve what I can, but no one takes me seriously, and the subversives get away scot-free every time. Because I've tried everything, and I failed, I overplayed my hand, and now they're watching my every move. We're only safe now because I made myself look like some starstruck idiot. No offense. I... I need you to help me. To help the NCR. I've been tracking several subversives. If we can find something to prove their guilt, we may just be able to stop them before they corrupt everyone. So, what do you say? Uh, no. I'm fine. Well, you're the courier. You get things done. If you didn't, Blackthorn would have left you to die. I was hoping you'd say that. No, I knew you'd say that. I know there are at least three subversives in the camp, likely more. But for now, we have to start small. There have been supply shortages, especially when it comes to food. Some of them escape. The chef will know more. When you speak to him, use the call sign Crucible. There's also Angelina. She's obviously hiding something. She goes through the same routine every time she's on a break without fail. I've tried following her, but every time I do, someone thinks I'm stuck in her. You shouldn't have that problem. Then there's Johan Reynolds. He's the worst of them all. A calculated sociopath whose primary goal is to destroy the NCR from the inside. He's a communist who hates our way of life. And I'm sure you can find something to prove that in his locker. When you have what we need, bring it to me. And I'll make sure that subversives get what's coming to them. If you can't find anything, then they are innocent. Simple as that. If they are innocent, then they have nothing to hide. I'll find a way to stop them. Throw them in a cell. Exile them. Whatever I have to do to protect the NCR. The chef will know more about the supply problem. He may even be able to finger a suspect. Just remember to use the call sign, Crucible. You could ask him, but I wouldn't recommend that. You can lockpick the locker door or steal the key from Reynolds' pocket. Either way, you'll need fast hands. Tell her that her shift's up and then tell her. It'll take a while, but it's the best way to prove her guilt. Anything that can incriminate the subversives. Notes, confessions, or your witness. Good luck, courier. Place a bet, or are you looking to throw down? I'm Ajax. I organize the fights. All bets go through me. Bare knuckles only. You leave your equipment outside the arena. First to get knocked out, loses. If you leave the arena, you forfeit the match. We also fight for bottle caps. Talk to me again if you want to arrange a fight.
Well, the wolf pack died. You showed up. And Junkly's getting all riled up. Not that I get to see any of that since I'm stuck here all day. Well, let's see. The snow moved slightly to the right two days ago. Last year, someone else walked over here before turning back. Wayne is stalking me and that's about it. Welcome to my hell. Huh, weird. Usually it's a staff officer that dismisses me, but who am I to say no to the courier of the Mojave? Later. Angel, you're early. I just got relieved from duty by the courier. The courier? Whoa, can they do that? I don't know. You willing to say no to the courier? No, I guess not. Maybe you should go, Angel. We don't want people to think. We're fraternizing? Masha, that's what we're doing. And frankly, it's kind of obvious. Still, you know how people feel about people like us. We'll be fine. Besides, we won't be here long. Angel. I've almost got all the caps we need. No more legion, no more scavs, no more... I have work to do. Yeah, so do I. You need something? Guarding this random spot of land, like always. Why wouldn't I be happy when my only job is to stand in one place all day? Ugh, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that you could get shot for deserting, I would have left a long time ago. I may have slept with a captain's daughter, and that captain may not have known his daughter liked women. I may have also stolen and pawned that captain's gun, but that was never proven. And thus my tale of boredom continues. I can't believe Wolfpack are gone. You need something? Otherwise I have people to get to. Next!
You need something? Otherwise, I have people to get to. My locker? What are you doing in there? Fine. Yeah, it's mine, and I believe every word of it. The place we're in now is because of a broken system. A few people made a decision to destroy the world. If we're going to make things better, we need people to be equal on all levels. Of course, there's a simple answer to your question. Yes, I'm a communist, and proud of it. Now either give me something to fix or leave. You need something? And you look stupid. Not so fun on the other end, huh? And thus my tale of boredom continues. seen together. Damn! I thought that would have been easy. Guess I underestimated him. He must be a genius to remain undetected. I was so sure that her taking the same route meant something. I guess I was just being paranoid. Still, better to be cautious than dead. So he is a commie. That's all I need to know. Get back out there. What is it? Oh, sorry, Courier. <laughs> I thought you were another scab trying to give something to the hanged man. Did you need anything? Jackson Bannon. That's my name. Most people on base call me Death, though, on account of how many people seem to die around me. I used to be a spotter for the 1st Brigade. Now, I just stand around here and deal with the scabs. I've been in the military most of my life, so it's hard to remember. I want to say... New Reno? I'm not surprised you haven't heard of us. Most everyone keeps quiet since... We were an elite unit, kind of like the Wolf Pack, but they were still small news when we were around. There were five members, counting me. Joseph Drag was our sniper, and I was his spotter. Elliot Alderson handled tech, 
Kurtz was our heavy and Parker Mace was the squad leader. In our prime, we killed at least 400 Legion and even more Brotherhood. We were young, proud, and invincible. Then, Bright Town happened. Bright Town. God damn it, Bright Town was a mistake. All you need to know is that innocent people died and we took the blame. After that, the brigade disbanded and we all went our separate ways. And that's the first brigade, warts and all. Kurtz is dead. Blew his head off as soon as we got back to the base. Elliot was put on psych leave. He's alive, but I don't visit. Joseph is gone. Walked out on us when his sister disappeared, probably hanging from some lamppost. Parker, well, I don't know where Parker is. I am. We all took it hard, but some took it harder than others. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I was the lucky one? You weren't there. It wasn't really an argument. I was just trying to explain to them that we aren't related to the hanged man. And that if they want to give him a gift, they should try to find him. A local legend. Folk hero is a better description. They say he defends the helpless, helps the people who can't help themselves, all without saying a word. At least, that's how the stories go. Maybe. A lot of people claim to have met him, so there's probably some basis in fact. Of course. They also say that Joshua Graham survived being burned alive and thrown off a cliff. There's a super mutant magician who can create death claws out of thin air. And that talking death claws are a thing. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Fair enough. Just don't get your hopes up. Really? Hands must be shaking worse than usual. There is something, actually. Parker, my old SO. He's missing. No one knows where he is, and after Bright Town happened, very few people even care. I'm worried about him, and... If you were to look for him, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know. If I knew, I'd be there. His room might have some clues. Thank you. I appreciate this. If you go to his room, you might get an idea of where he is.
respectful speech, Kurt. Hello. What are we gonna do without wolf pack? What do you need? What? Oh, that's that call sign that Wayne gave me. Don't tell me he dragged you into this shit. Not really. He mostly keeps to himself and follows people around. Oh, that annoys me. He comes here to eat food and then talks my head off about conspiracies all day. That's the extent of our... work. I mean, I guess. The food is appearing because we're eating it. No one here is dumb enough to steal food. Although, when we first got here, the cereal that we stockpiled went faster than it should have, but that's just cereal. I don't know. Maybe it was Ian. He was guarding the stockpile the month it went missing. Saying it like it is, Courier. For. <laughs> I was just guarding the place. I didn't need any cereal. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's a really good joke. I've never seen any Coke crunches or radical radios, and no chocolate chop Robcos for me. <laughs> it would be easy since I spent all my time in there alone and got rid of all the empty boxes. That is to say, I, I didn't get rid of them because I didn't need any cereal. You can't prove anything.
here. Were you followed? No, I don't think so. Still, we're exposed and we need to make this quick. We can't let them see us. Take this. Make it quick. Of course not. I told you before that no one takes me seriously. I couldn't risk him or anyone else trying to stop us. This has to be done. It's the only way to keep the camp safe. Why else? He's a communist. Wants to destroy our Californian way of life. Trust me, I haven't forgotten about that. But his beliefs are more important. He and the rest of his kind want to destroy the NCR and everything we stand for. If he shares his beliefs, they might spread like a cancer. We can't let that happen. Of course it is! We're in the right here, Johan's not. It's as simple as that. No, you agreed to help me save the camp, and this is how. These subversives will never stop. We have to kill them before they do any more damage. Do it. Finish them. Looking for a good time? Suit yourself. Hey pal, welcome to the Fix-It. If you need guns or ammo, I'm your guy. If you need your stuff fixed, talk to Sylviana. Oh. Before you try it, Sylviana ain't selling her ass no more. There's plenty of pussy just out the door, or a few tipsy scabs you can take home over at the bar.
sure. If you like pissing away caps on overpriced garbage, trust me, keeping it in working condition and feeding it expensive ammo is a pain in the ass. I recommend sticking to the classics. Reliable, it's fancy in any gunfight. I got all the stuff you need to survive in this frozen shitterland. kind of guy who cares what he's drinking is buy something. Gee, thanks. Take a seat. Let's get this over with. I live here, more or less. I used to sleep out back. But Charlie took pity on me, so now I sleep here on the floor. At least there's heat. Sort of. We see each other every day, but we don't talk. I know she used to be some old world starlet, though. Word of advice. Don't mention Vera Keys, lest you want to get your face clawed off. I was a mercenary, like most scabs. I fought for whoever had the deepest pockets. I was good at it too. Real good. Age could never slow me down. Then some sons of bitches took a sledgehammer to my knees, and it was all downhill from there. <laughs> I wish. Legion at least might have just killed me. Nah, I have Blackthorn's boys to thank for this. Of course not. Guy doesn't get his hands dirty. I can bet you he looks the other way, though. I couldn't go back into the field, obviously. And I lost all of my caps on pain chems. So it wasn't long till I found myself here. I've been drinking myself into unconsciousness ever since. I think both sides would just die off. That's what I think used to be that when you did a job for someone, it was just that, a job. No one held it against you, and everyone knew you were just doing it for the caps. Things were simpler then, things were good. Then these two superpowers show up and complicate everything. Everyone has an agenda now. Everyone has to take a side. And it's the people in the middle who suffer. People like me, innocent. Portland would be better off without either of them. How should I know? I'm just a drunk complaining in a bar. No, get lost.
don't mind if I do. like a real patriot. You're talking to Josiah Zurich, better known as the Emperor. I led the first brigade through the Brotherhood War. I was promoted to general upon its conclusion, and followed Blackthorn and his men to the frontier. I've been here ever since. I'm here because of Blackthorn. As a general, I was unmatched. The Legion fell like leaves before my men. Eventually, we confronted the main force outside of a place called Salt Town. Blackthorn ordered me back. Ordered me to retreat. This was a few days after Bright Town. Blackthorn thought I was going to start another massacre. Like that idiot Parker. I ignored his order and charged ahead. We defeated the force with minimal civilian and military casualties. But it wasn't enough. I was removed from my command and put on indefinite leave. Of course, I would never leave it behind. I have no command though, and no assignment. I can either waste my time on base or here. I choose the latter. It was an insult from my men. They thought I was too authoritative, too arrogant. I wore it as a badge of pride. The New California Republic, of course. The greatest nation on this irradiated Earth. To freedom! Yeah, well, the biggest mistake of their lives. Firing the best general. Whatever. Hey there, kid. Sit, relax, and have a drink or two. See that guy in the corner there, drinking his ass off? Maybe hard to believe, but he used to be a merc. Pretty good one at that. His name is Donovan. Maybe he could put you in contact with one of his old pals. Don't you worry about lead poisoning? Or manners? That's so. Yeah, I might know someone. But I think I need another glass to refresh my memory. <laughs> no fooling you, is there, kid? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Wish I could help you. But I burned all bridges when I left the job. Ain't nobody left from that life would even look at me. Look at me. Is this the kind of person you want watching your back? As long as you have standards, <laughs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm done with all of that. Gotta say, you're showing an awful lot of interest in me. What's your game here? Huh. All right. Might I leave the job you asked? Let's just say it was leading me down a path I didn't care for very much. Sure I can. Don't want to, though. I'm all ears.
Whoa. If that's true, we got quite a story right there. Guess it's my turn now, huh? All right. See, my old man was a merc. One of the best. Taught me every trick of the trade. So it only made sense that I put those skills to good use. I never really liked doing it, though. The young fool that I was. From the beginning, I thought I could just work on a protection detail or something. Only for good, honest people. Keep it clean, you know. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, though. Well, you just can't afford to be too choosy about the jobs you take. Not unless you want to starve to death. So you start making compromises, one after another. Till one day you wake up and you realize you're too far gone. You've lost yourself. Uh-huh. Man, when Dan came along, well, that was the last straw. Yeah, merchant of sorts. Some poor bastard owned him cats. So Dan hired me and one other merc to go with him, teach the guy a lesson. I figured we'd only trash this place a bit, maybe rough him up a little. Standard stuff. But the idiot fought back. Well, but shit like that happens sometimes, you know. We've seen it go down a hundred times before. See, the man had a wife and two sons. They weren't in the house when we got there. But the wife and the younger boy caught us on the way out. But they'd only come two minutes later. Because Dan was going to get his money's worth one way or the other. He grabbed the wife. The other merc caught the kid. Told me to get a rope. But I just stood there. He told me again. I turned around and I walked away. I didn't help him do it, but... Sure as hell, didn't do anything to stop him either. I tried, you know. I tried real hard to leave it all behind me. Pretend it never happened. But if you got a shred of decency in you, all the shitty things you do are bound to come back to haunt you. Sooner or later. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you killed. I could tell that much. They'd ever keep you up at night. That simple, huh? <laughs> well, good for you then. I envy you for that. I really do. What do you think? From what I've been told, at least a boy died quickly. A woman. Wasn't so lucky. I don't know where the older son was at the time or what happened to him after all of that. Nothing good, I'd imagine. Ah, no. I mean, you take a job and, yeah, often you find yourself between people with conflicting ends. You fight for the side that pays you. And everybody involved gets that. If they're smart, they'll have a backup, too. It's normal. It's expected. It's just business, right? The rules are simple and few, but they exist. Now that guy owed Dan, but he didn't pay up. He resisted, and for that he paid with his life. It's fucked up, but it's part of the deal. He had to have known it. At least that's what I always tell myself. But raping his wife, and killing her, and the kid, that wasn't business. There's no way to justify it. But I let it happen. I fucking let it happen! And how am I supposed to do that? If he's still alive, you mean. Ah, uh, doesn't work that way, kid. Nothing could undo what I've done. Oh, 
Huh. Maybe you got a point. I guess I should go try to find the boy. Try to get some kind of closure. <laughs> Even if it comes a muzzle velocity. Yeah. I've got to do this. You do that? Yeah. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have company. We'll go to the old boy's house then. I don't know if he's still there. He's even alive for that matter. We gotta start somewhere. But not just yet. We should probably wait till the booze wears off. Fiber should help speed things up.
these. Howdy, youngin. The name's Walter Dunn. But most folks just call me Quick Gun on account that I can drop a man before he can blink. Used to be a desert ranger. I came up here to retire, but turns out war follows me like a lost puppy. Blackthorn and the young bloods got the front lines covered for now. So I just play my guitar and enjoy my peace. But I reckon the day those Legion fuckers set foot in this town is the day they understand the word fear. I might be an old man, but pre-war nukes are older and they only do half the damage I can. So enjoy your stay. Take in a few beers. I got it covered. I've never ran. Anytime those bastards come to town, they'll have a problem. Last time they took a stand, 20 lay dead by the time my gun went silent. Most of the rumors about desert rangers are true, and most of them are courtesy of my fine work. So don't worry about Goose Holly, youngin'. <laughs> There's an angel watching over this town, and he and his six gun are the reason hell had to install a queue line. I do a good rendition of The Wayfaring Stranger. It's kind of like my life story. Enjoy your stay in Goose Hollow, youngin'.
Welcome back. What can I interest you on this fine day? Guns, primarily. You never know. Here to place a bet, or are you looking to throw down? You think you have what it takes in the pen? Well, alright. I'll match you up with one of the new recruits. The bid is a hundred bottle caps. Good luck. Just don't treat me like a Brahmin, okay? Back and I aren't exactly in our prime. <laughs> 